Insertion of Thomas Shunt Through an incision in the skin overlying a large vein or artery of a child, the physician dissects the vessel that will receive a synthetic shunt. The vessel may be clamped. The vessel is nicked, and a needle threads a guidance wire into the vein or artery. The shunt follows, and the wire is removed. The physician sutures the synthetic shunt end-to-end, -end, or end-to-side, to the vein or artery. The shunt is most often used for access in hemodialysis. Insertion of transvenous intrahepatic portosystemic shunt, S, tips, includes venous access, hepatic and portal vein catheterization, portography with hemodynamic evaluation, intrahepatic tract formation slash dilatation, stent placement and all associated imaging guidance and documentation. Revision of transvenous intrahepatic portosystemic shunt S. Tips, includes venous access, hepatic and portal vein catheterization, portography with hemodynamic evaluation, intrahepatic tract recannulization slash dilation, stent placement and all associated imaging guidance and documentation. Once the patient is under general anesthesia or conscious sedation, the right internal jugular vein is accessed and a catheter is placed into the right hepatic vein. A shunt is an artificial passage which allows fluid to move from one part of your body to another. A transjugular intrahepatic portosystemic shunt, TIPS, connects the vein which brings blood from your gastrointestinal tract and intra-abdominal organs to your liver, and the vein from your liver to the right part of your heart. <laughs>